I'm here with Walters Clearer at Accountex. Um, how are you guys? Very well, thank you. How are you? Yeah, very good, thank you. And um, what's, what's new for you at Accountex this year? What's your kind of big push? Uh, um, well, we're here to obviously uh, show our complete solution to, to practice, but also to talk particularly about the new upcoming new, new UK gap and how our information and solutions, uh, software solutions, deal with that. I think our message is there's so much change going on. Everything will be new this year or next year. And we've got information in the forms of books, ebooks, online, but we've also got the software to allow you to do it. So the package together is the really important thing for us this year. Excellent. And I understand you've both been giving presentations on it as well. I mean, how have they been going? Yeah, packed presentation this morning for the first presentation, which was nice. Very bright and breezy looking people and people stood at the back for the whole presentation. Um, always nice to, to see people very interested to hear what's going on and the uh, new requirements that we're expecting on small and micro entities uh, making a lot of people interested. And what, what do you see is the biggest kind of thing that it, this is going to change for accountants? Uh, well, obviously, accountants have got to learn, have got to research the requirements, but also it means that they've got to have the systems in place to enable them to effect a smooth transition to a uh, new UK gap. And once they know the requirements, if they've got the right software, then it should be relatively simple for them to effect that tr transition and ensure that they can continue to give their clients a good service. Yeah, and I, and I just think any change gives uh, practice or business an opportunity to think, are we doing things in the best way? So we might see a, a bigger switch to digital. Uh, we might see a bigger switch to actually it's more efficient to look stuff up early on in the stage rather than wait and get something wrong and then look to solutions later. So building in the software with the information so that you actually understand what you're doing at the same time I think will be really important. It certainly will be a big change and aside from the new UK gap, what do you see as another big change kind of coming for accountants perhaps in the next year to two years? Well, I, I think what we're seeing is accountants are more uh, looking at how their efficiency is. Uh, obviously compliance services are becoming less profitable for accountants and they've got to ensure that they can do this very efficiently. So the way we are helping accountants in do that is we are providing totally integrated solutions so that they can have all of their back office and also their compliance uh, it within one system. They can have a client centric view of their, their clients uh, so that they can actually see about their work in progress and also about the compliance services and also with access to information to enable them to research very efficiently and ensure that they can keep the profitability of those compliance services going. Yes, and I, th I think that point about profitability of compliance but also branching out into more advisory based work, um, taking over things that you're expert on for companies, so maybe they don't want to do their accounts anymore but they used to do them in-house, and uh, taking over that sort of work and building on the advisory side of practice overall is going to be an important element. Yeah, it's certainly going to be an interesting few years anyway and uh, with the death of the annual tax return as well on the cars, I mean, what, do you, what's your, what are your opinions on that? Um, I'm not a tax expert, but the whole uh, you know HMRC push to have everything digitised and just you know everything flow through, if you like, uh, will be a huge, huge thing for for accountants, and is part of that same push towards you know compliance will be more done digitally, whether by government agencies or uh, by software providers, and uh, the accountant then adds their value in terms of what they know to that, and it'll be a big shift for some for some firms, I think. Indeed. I mean, I think accountants shouldn't see this as a threat. They should see this as an opportunity because there will still be the requirement to collate the information, to provide that information to HMRC. It's just being provided in a different way. It's being provided in a continuous format rather than an, a tax return which will be provided at the end of the year. And they can use this to have more regular contact with their clients, to look at what other services that they can provide to their clients. And if they've got more information which they are actually looking at on a more regular basis, there's the opportunity to identify those services rather than waiting to the end of the year when maybe the opportunity to provide that service has, has gone. So definitely should be looking at this as an opportunity.